student support spotlight. And uh, this is one of, my, one of my favorite portions because I always learn something new uh, that I didn't know that I can then relay uh, to someone that I'm speaking with in the office or on the phone or uh, someone that's emailed me um, all the great support that we have here at the Citadel for uh, both our graduate and undergraduate students. Um, and we're going to start off uh, probably the thing that's uh, most on, a, at least at least it's on my mind, um, is financial aid and uh, the steps to complete that process. Thank you for the opportunity. Yes, if you'll please. Sir. You got me now? All right. Um, again, my name is Josh Simon. I work with financial aid. Um, in a very, very brief opportunity to speak with you, the biggest thing I'd like for you to leave with is that Bond Hall is right there. We are at the other end of the hall from this building. Our doors are open morning to night, 8.30 to 5. Come see us. Financial aid is an extremely personal conversation. There are many facets there, and it's confusing, much of it not intuitive. Um, I'm happy to give you a presentation right now, but please have that be what you do. Come see us. Come call us. Look our number up on the website. Give us a ring. Um, Biggest points I'd say is please make sure to file your FAFSA, especially at the graduate level. Uh, if you're an independent student at the undergraduate level, for sure, um, file your FAFSA. It's what is going to open up the largest numbers and largest avenues for you uh, from a financial aid point of view. Um, biggest things to know from that point of view is as a graduate student, six credit hours at the Citadel is considered full time. If you have a broken, you know, the eight week schedule, it's everything that happens between August and December, January and May, and then all of the summer months. So if you're taking those two eight-week courses, you are a full-time student, which means that you have access to um, whatever aid you qualify for as a full-time student. Um, so to one course over, an eight, uh, over a semester, half-time, it means you are still eligible for federal aid as a graduate student. Um, summer, the way that we package summer, is, Generally speaking, financial aid at the Citadel, we are going to package or put your financial aid together for fall and spring. And that means that if you're intending to study in the summer, uh, be looking for an application. So we need you to tell us, please extend my aid in the summer. And we're going to have communications with you back and forth. Lots happens in the summer, graduation work, kids, things get busy. It's, it can be easy to miss those communications. So be looking for that. Look to connect with us. Um, we need something as simple as an email saying, please extend my unsub loan for the summer months uh, to pay for my courses. That way we've got the documentation and we can take care of you um, in that way. But be looking for that and expecting it. Outside of that, once your aid is packaged for fall, spring, or in the case of you that are just starting the spring semester and going into, once we've got you packaged for the year, very, very simple and still adjustable. When you sign up for financial aid and you're, you're built for the summer, much like your undergrad would have been, fall hits, piece of cake, you still can dial in. Once you've registered for those courses uh, in the spring, once your first bill's been made before that disbursement, we're going to be able to dial it into exactly what you need um, according to what the regs say and what you're qualified for. Um, I'd hate to get to leave you so briefly with such an important topic. Again, you know where we're at. Look us up. Send us emails. Please communicate with us. Uh, myself and the team are dedicated to making sure that you are able to access all of the aid you qualify for. Thank you. Um, oh, sure. Yes, I will. I was afraid you wouldn't be able to see me. <laughs> Maybe if I do it this way, that always kind of here. Better. Okay. Hopefully, at least from this angle, you can see me all right. Okay. I'm Dr. Lindsay Spring, and I'm from the Student Success Center, and I'm here to tell you about what we have to offer you as our graduate students. Um, in the Student Success Center, I direct the Writing Lab, which is the space that most of our graduate students utilize, although it's not the only space, um, but I'll start there. There's a lot of writing associated a lot of projects um, and graduate programs and, and courses and assignments. And so we are a great place to go to help you um, prepare for those projects or to write papers um, that you may be putting together for any of your graduate courses. We're also a really good place to go um, if you need some help with some research strategies um, or you're using a documentation style that maybe you're not familiar with. 
Um, we get a lot of students that um, have taken a break between undergraduate and graduate school. Um, if that's you, um, you might be a little nervous or a little apprehensive about what it means to get back into the classroom, especially back into academic writing. Right? We write and communicate a lot, but it's different, right? different context, different purpose, different outcomes when we're doing it for classes. And so we have tutors um, that can help you brush up if that's something you're interested in or just help you kind of walk, walk walk you through the process if maybe you feel a little rusty. And again, we do have, if MLA was what you used in undergrad and APA is what you're doing now um, or IEEE or if these all sound weird to you and you don't know why I'm saying a bunch of letters, we can help you with all these different documentation styles um, and kind of learn the ins and outs so that you can be successful on your papers there. Another great place to go, I'll plug the library here. We work in tandem, the writing lab and the library to help students with research and with documentation styles. Um, outside of the writing lab, we do have offer some support to graduate students in our math lab. If you are in a any math with a, or some of our MBA programs, we'll take accounting or some math-based courses with some quantitative literacy. And we have support for graduate students in that space as well. Um, outside of that, we do have subject area tutoring in the Student Success Center. Um, and if we need to, so if there is a need for us to support you in a content area for a class that you're taking, we will work to find a tutor. Uh, generally speaking, when our graduate students are in the Student Success Center for subject area tutoring, it's because they themselves are a tutor. So that's another reason why the Student Success Center comes to these talks is that we are a great place if you're looking for an assistantship. We do hire graduate assistants to work as tutors in the writing lab, the math lab, subject area tutoring. Um, student athletic academic services are also out of the Student Success Center, so we have a team um, of success and academic coaches that work with our athletes and our student athletes. So if that sounds interesting to you, um, we can be a great place of on-campus employment. We also will, for some of our programs in the School of Education or in educational psychology, um, have worked with those departments in the past to offer some on-campus internships or observation hours because we do work so closely with all of our undergraduate and cadet learners in a range of, of content areas. Um, we are open a lot. We're also a great place to study. Um, our hours are 8 a.m. to 10 p.m., so very similar to the library, but we are just a little bit smaller um, and not quite so busy, especially during the day. Um, but that is what we have to offer you at the Student Success Center, and we're in Thompson Hall on the opposite side of campus um, as Capers, which is where we are now. So welcome. We're happy to have you, and have a nice evening. Good evening, everyone, or afternoon. Okay. My name is Melissa West. I'm the Associate Director of our Veteran Student Success Center. Um, if you have served in our military, would you mind just raising your hand if you feel comfortable? Oh, quite a few of you. Wow. Thank you so much for your service. We truly appreciate it. Um, so I work primarily with our veteran and active duty students. Um, to help you successfully complete your degree, whether you're a Veteran Day student, a graduate student, an online student, um, any of those modalities, we can support you. So resources we provide, we do have a Veteran Student Lounge on campus. So if you are a Veteran Day student, our student lounge is open from 7.30 to 5, Monday through Friday. Um, we have a computer lab, uh, free coffee, snacks, uh, a student uh, like living room area where you can sit down and relax in between classes, get to know some of your fellow students. Um, it's a great way to really engage with other veterans on campus. Um, we also have academic resiliency and career coaching um, geared towards specifically veteran and active duty students. So your resumes are gonna look a little different than those who have been in the civilian world um, their entire lives. And uh, you may have some different um, ways of learning or leadership skills that we can apply to the classroom. And we'd like to help you explore those. So if you ever need any of those, 
we do have dedicated coaches um, available for you. We have a veteran student mentorship program. We will link you with someone in our local community who has found success in a career similar to those of your goals. And so we offer that to our sophomores and higher. Uh, we have a Veterans Integration to Academic Leadership or our VITAL program. Someone from the VA comes every Thursday from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. in the center to help you with any sort of VA connections you need. So if you need to make a medical appointment or if you're having trouble accessing something, we have those resources on campus weekly to help you with that. We also have all uh, of the assistance you could ever need processing your VA benefits. So even if you are not a veteran, but you have a VA benefit from a spouse or um, a parent or any of that, and you're wanting to use that, we process those benefits through our office. We have a ton of information on our website. Uh, my colleague, Sarah, who's in, in the audience, also has some flyers. So if you're interested in VA benefits or need more information, we can absolutely get that to you today. Um, so you can start looking through that process. And then we also have um, a veteran emergency relief fund that provides funds to um, our veteran students who have some sort of crises. Uh, those are kind of few and far between, but we do have a, a wealth of wraparound support services to help you. We also have a Student Veterans Association. That is a group of student veterans just like yourself. They get together monthly to meet and talk and get to know each other. They also have socials, family gatherings, sports events, all kinds of fun stuff. So, uh, And those are just a few of the resources provided. There's a lot more, um, but for um, today, I just wanted to make sure I hit the highlights. Um, so again, VA benefits, if, you're, if you need to apply for benefits, the first step would be to apply with the VA and then contact our office and we'll help you walk through the rest of the process as soon as you receive your certificate of eligibility. And then if you want to take a picture. These are this is a link to our website. Um, these are all the resources we provide and all of our contact information, um, everything we have available to our veteran active duty and military connected students. All right. And that will be it for my talk today. And I'm going to hand it over to Jennifer Cleveland for her discussion from the Career Center. Thank you. Hey everyone, how are you? Awesome, I'm so glad to hear that. I'm Jen Cleveland. Um, my last name used to be Santoro, so that's why it, say, it says J Santoro um, on there uh, for my email. Um, but I want you all to know that my office, my email, my phone number, it's always open to you all. Um, I want you all to know that the Career Center here, we recognize that you are an advanced um, in your career, right? And so you all are coming with different reasons and you have a different story that has brought you. And so what I want you all to know is we consider you, um, you know, like a more of a like I like to use VIP with our veterans and with our grad students because you all have a lot to bring to the table, right? And with that, I would love for you all to work with myself or one of my team members, which is a full-time team member. If um, I'll say we, we do offer office hours. Um, however, though, those office hours might be um, more directed towards our undergraduate population where, and the reason why I say this is that we have peer career coaches. Um, and I do not recommend that anybody in this room work with one of our peer uh, career coaches and it's nothing against them in any way, shape or form. They are amazing. However, though, the nuances of your career as uh, Josh Simon was saying earlier, right? It's very unique. Right. And so a resume template that would go towards a traditional, you know, 18 to 
21 year old, right, is not going to be the same as somebody who has life experience, has served in the military, right? It's more nuanced than that. And so what I want to be able to make sure and ensure that you all have is the support that matches what your needs are for your career. So our, our mission, honestly, is here to be able to support you in achieving your career goals. Um, that's our entire purpose of being here. And the, these are the full-time team members that I'm talking about that I would love for you to get to know us um, during your time here. Um, we're available, of course, in person, but we also recognize that you may not have the opportunity to be on campus, right? And so with that, we are happy to meet virtually. Um, anywhere you are, we are happy to hop on a Zoom call and talk through whatever your needs are. So whether that be um, talking through strategies in regards to how do I position myself for this next stage, right, of what's coming? How do I translate my past experience and turn it into the language that's going to be most appropriate for where I'm headed? And that's something that we want to be able to personalize the service for you. Um, and every single person up here is trained to be able to do that. So we will be happy to be able to support you in that process. Um, we uh, like to say that we take an explore, prepare, engage type of, a, of, of approach. And so with that, I know that you all in this room probably have done a lot of reflection um, and that is what has brought you here today. Um, so I want to congratulate you on being here today because it means you're ready to take a, a big step towards a goal that you, you have visioned for yourself. Um, and we're here to help support whatever that next stage is in your process. So if you still want to explore, right, like, you know, okay, I know that I'm headed in this direction, but I know that there's probably a lot more opportunities out there that I might not be aware of. We want to be here to help support you in exploring those options. Um, preparation. We like said the best, the best way to ensure that you are going to achieve your goals is in the preparation process. And we're here to talk through whatever that is for you, whether that be talking about how can you tangibly gain more hands-on um, tangible experiences to add to your resume, to be able to be considered for whatever that next step is, because your degree is going to offer you those opportunities. Um, and we can be strategic and partnering in regards to what's going to make the most sense for where you work currently, right? Where can you be um, looking outside of that? And when is the right next step? And what's that timing of that? And how can you be prepared to make, make those next steps? And then engage, right? So one of the main, main things that we um, really focus on too is bringing employers to our campus. Um, we do multiple events. Like I was just uh, sharing, we, we, we did six events in October alone um, that were all about employer engagement. And we're gonna have more in the spring. Um, I want you all to know that your academic departments are amazing, right? And so depending on where you are, there will be um, very specific employer engagement events that will be for you. Um, and here's the thing too, if ever there is something going on that you cannot attend because you have life, right, that you are responsible for, just reach out to us anytime and we will make a direct contact. Like if we have somebody coming to campus and you're like, I really want to get connected with them, just email me, connect with me, one of my team members, and we will get you connected with our contacts there and we'll be happy to make an introduction. Um, we ultimately um, utilize uh, two main platforms, um, CareerShift and Handshake. Um, and so with that, what I will say, uh, Handshake, you'll you'll hear that probably amongst the undergraduate population um, and the cadets. I will say that the job board on there is more geared towards entry level roles. So we do have an additional resource called Career Shift that it will be more geared towards advanced roles. So this these are resources and we'll be able to talk through them anytime um, for your job search when the time does come. Um, but also to handshake is how you'll be able to make an appointment with us uh, virtually online. Um, you don't even have to like reach out to us. You can literally just go to our website. And um, if you are going to be a student here, your student login should be able to log you right directly to handshake to make an appointment with us. I think. 
That's everything. So our website is just citadel.edu backslash career. We have a ton of resources on there. And I just want to encourage you to engage with us. Um, that's what we're here for. Um, and like I said, we completely recognize that sometimes it can be a challenge. So please still don't hesitate to reach out. We'll make it work um, with your schedule. And like I said, we're happy to meet virtually if that's what's needed. But I thank you so much. I'm excited for you all. I know it's a really big step uh, to pursue a degree. Um, and uh, we're just excited to support you in achieving what comes after that. So excited to get to know each of you. Thanks for being here. Hi everyone, I'm Katherine Kusher. I work over in Human Resources. We're actually just across the street in the little brick building, with the blue awning. Um, we obviously handle all employment, benefits, employee relations, an array of different things. If you need anything or have random questions, you're always welcome to stop in. Um, that said, we do have a lot of student positions on campus and those all come through Myself, you can obviously email anyone in HR, but um, you can reach out to me if you're interested in, in a position on campus. Um, we also have a graduate assistant program um, that each department or the majority of departments on campus have graduate assistant positions. Um, they do run August to May and they're at a flat rate of $15 an hour um, and you can work up to 20 hours a week. There's information on the screen. It's also all on our website um, and it's rolling applications. So you can apply at any point of the year. It doesn't matter if it falls into that August to May, we will send your application to a department. Um, it's all on our website. The only like minimum requirements is obviously that you are enrolled in a student here and then taking those six credit hours per semester. Um, at any time, if you stop taking up to six credit hours, you wouldn't be able to continue the position. But the idea is that you kind of stay with that department or, or that role throughout your time here, if it fits your schedule and everything. Um, we also, if you qualify for the federal work study program, um, Josh Simon, who was the first person who spoke up here, he would be your contact for that and setting you up with a, a role on campus through the work study program. Um, and he's has tons of positions. Even if you don't really know what you're interested in, he'd be happy to help and, and you know, kind of provide that information. Um, but really, that's all I have, nothing crazy. If you ever need anything, we are always happy to help, um, even if it's not HR related and our door is always open. Um, you're welcome to go to the website. My info is on there. And everything again, my name is Catherine and welcome to Citadel. Hi everyone, my name is Ruby Murray. I'm the programming and outreach manager for the Daniel Library. It's a pleasure to present to each of you. You've made the decision to come to the Sigil. And one of the things we wanna let you know is that the department is a friend to all majors. Why? Because we see all of our undergraduate, graduate students, no matter what your major, no matter what you're interested in, the library is the one place that you wanna make sure that you make a connection with. The library is open seven days a week. And so we are a great place for you to come and study. One of the things as you begin your uh, graduate program, you're gonna have to do time management. And so when you're at home and you're getting ready to study and then you say, wow, I think I should do my dishes before I start studying. You can come to the library and really have an opportunity to focus on what it is that you would like to have happen. We have reference librarians, we have staff who are there to help you in any aspect of what it is that you would like to accomplish. One of the things, we are a modern library. So you can, of course, we always want you to come and visit and be in the building, but there's so much you can do electronically. So we have a feature on our homepage where you can ask a librarian from home. You have access to 
indexes and databases where you can do your research. The library is also a good place to study. We have, you have access to vending machines, there's free printing, there's a coffee shop. And so again, these are the reasons why we want you to spend time at the Daniel Library. I'll now take a moment away from my presentation to talk a little bit about myself. I worked full-time at the Citadel and then I worked full-time to obtain my master's degree. So I've had an opportunity to be like you, trying to figure out what the next stages in my academic career, what do I want them to be? Well, the good news is you have so many people here who can assist you in this journey. So you don't have to be afraid. You have folks who wanna help you. And so I know it's challenging, especially if you've been out of the classroom for a while and you're like, wait a minute, I don't know how to do any of this. How am I supposed to get it done? Again, we have a full staff who will be here to help you get adjusted to how things have changed and more importantly, introduce you to new technology that will make your academic success cohesive with the great person that you are. You'll have access to all these resources. So again, my name is Ruby Murray. Everyone calls me Miss Ruby. If there's any, ever anything that I can assist you with in your academic journey, please make sure you reach out to me or any of the staff members of the Daniel Library. We are proud of you and we want you to make this step so that you can get to the goal of receiving your master's degree and being a part of the Citadel family. So again, thanks everyone. Hi everyone, I'm back. <laughs> Okay, so my name again is Dorian Howell. Um, I work for the Center for International and Special Programs here at the Citadel. And actually before I worked um, in CISP, I worked in the Graduate College Admissions Office. So I kind of have seen all sides of it. I'm a student myself. Um, so I always love coming and presenting to prospective students because I was exactly in your place. So this is our team. We have a small team, but we all kind of do everything. So any of our contact information, you'll get an answer from us. Um, so our director is Dr. Zane Siegel. Amy Paris is our assistant director. Noah Kubinek um, is the assistant director for fellowships. And then I am a program manager. So I'm not sure if any of you have thought about studying abroad, but studying abroad helps you have a better understanding of your own culture as well as cultures around the world. Um, you get to experience interactions with people of different cultures, feel more mature and confident, learn to deal with ambiguity, learn new skills that can ignite a new career path and gain valuable interpersonal skills. So for CGC students, um, the opportunities that we have for you are called short-term faculty-led programs. So those take place over spring break and um, summer. So faculty-led, you travel abroad with a Citadel faculty member and earn credit towards your degree. Spring break, like I said, it's a part of a spring course that kind of has like a field trip component um, that you then go on your abroad trip. And then summer, um, you actually get more credit hours for a summer trip. You get three to six credit hours. So, oh, that's a little bit small, but that's okay. So these are all of our programs that are that we're offering for spring and summer. Um, the ones in red are the ones that are offering graduate college level courses. So those are the ones that you guys would be eligible for. Um, we have Normandy, Germany, Belgium, and Luxembourg. Those are kind of all in one um, program. Estonia and then Greece, and I'll go into detail about those. So Normandy is um, a great option for leadership students or um, military history students. Um, it takes the place of a battlefield leadership course, or you could kind of use it as an elective course. Um, basically, it's a group of 20 graduate students. You guys go to Normandy over spring break. Um, and that is run by um, Colonel Tom Clark. So if you are interested in that, you can definitely reach out to him for more information. Um, or, of course, reach out to me. So our other spring break trip is Belgium, Germany, and Luxembourg. Um, this program will have both undergraduate and graduate students. Um, and like I said, it'll be over spring break. You travel to all those places. And um, that is more for the World, World War II um, kind of courses. 
Estonia is a summer program that is July 14th through August 1st. And this is kind of for cybersecurity um, interested students. That one is run by Dr. Terry Mays. And then Athens, Greece. This one is one of my personal favorites. I want to go on this program really badly. <laughs> we run it um, last year as well. Um, I just think it's so fascinating, but it's called Blue Spaces. And so it's the psychology behind um, how being around the water um, impacts your psychological health. That one is June 2nd to June 23rd. And that one is run by Dr. Chip Taylor. So the only things that you guys need to worry about for being eligible is having a 2.0 GPA and just making sure that you're in good financial standing. So planning to study abroad, if you guys are interested, um, you can also always come and come by my office and see me, email me. But the first thing you'll need to do is to create a campus community account. So that's citadel.campuscommunity.app. And then you'll be able to see all the programs there, the ones that I've listed that are eligible for CGC students. You can kind of research them, go over them with your faculty advisor and see which one would be the best fit for you. Um, and then I always like to remind students to get a passport. So they will not actually let you on the plane if your passport expires within six months of your return date. Um, so just keep that in mind if you're interested in, in going abroad in spring or summer of next year. Financial considerations. So we do offer um, scholarships. Um, you also, your financial aid does apply to these courses as well. So that's something to keep in mind. You can talk to um, Josh Simon, of course, um, for more information about that. So where can you find us? Um, if you go right out these doors and walk to the left, we are the last little suite on the right. Um, like I said, we have four offices in there. You guys can come by and talk to any one of us and we'll be able to answer your questions. Um, and here's our contact information one more time. If anyone wants to take a picture, um, please email me, reach out. You guys can come and ask any questions that you want. Thank you, Dorian. Give everybody a chance to uh, take a picture if you need to. Um, and of course, you can find their contact information and all of our presenters' contact information uh, on our website. Um, or stop by, find myself or one of the CGC staff members out in the lobby, and uh, we'll be happy to, to give you their contact information. Um, so kind of what we're going to do 